Okay, we're going to compare and contrast these two inverse Laplace transforms. Let's look at this one. We have 4 over s minus 3 in the parentheses and then square, and plus 4 square. As you can see, this 4 in the 4 square, it matches with this 4 on the top, right? So you know we have to get some kind of sign, isn't it? And you also notice that we have minus 3 directly toward the s. So this right here is an example of the translation in the s world. And this is how you're going to take care of this. Whenever you have the translation in the s world, and you are doing the inverse of plus, you have to get e to the 3t, whatever this number is. We are subtracting positive 3. So you multiply by e to the positive 3t, right? And then if you look at the rest of the function parts, you know you have to deal with sine of something. And it's the 4 that we are talking about. And it's just sine 4t after that. And this is it. This is how we take care of the translation in the S world. Once again, if you look at this, and then we have to subtract 3 directly toward S, be sure we multiply by e to the 3t, okay, whatever this number is, okay, minus positive 3. So we multiply by e to the positive 3t, and that's it, okay? And now, if you look at this one, we have e to the negative 3s right here. We have the e to the something already in this s world, right? And we are not subtracting nor adding anything directly to s. This is an example of the translation in the t world, and this is how you can do it. The way that to think about it is, whenever I have e to the some kind of s in the s world, and I want to go back to the t world by doing the inverse of plus, I'm going to get u of t minus whatever this a value is. This is technically negative a s, and the a value here is past these three. So we must have u of t minus past these three, the a value. You always have that unit step function whenever you have e to the whatever s in this part, right? So unlike earlier, whenever you are subtracting or adding something directly toward s, you always have e to the whatever t in the t word like that. So notice the difference. And what's next? Well, the rest of the function part, this right here tells you you must have this. The rest of the function part tells you you must have some kind of sign, right? Yes, you are going to have sign, and then you have to have the 4 t, but when you're doing this, whenever you have this part, the input have to be the same. So it's not just a t right here, it has to be t minus 3 with the parentheses as well. Right? The input, they have to be the same. And I will leave it as how it is. I'm not going to distribute it because this is actually preferred it so that you can see this right here. We take the sign of 4t function, we take that to the right, we translate that to the right three units. And of course, you also multiply by the unit step function. Right? So be sure you know the difference between the translation in s and the translation in T. That's it.